at you once again on your computer screen saying this is the Sitchel Nation. This is the 2021 Wicked Wizard Garage Shop Truck, 1953-4. All beautiful. Go check it out on the channel in the archives. We got a finale video with the original piece of uh, orchestration by yours truly. Look in the back here. We got some mystery elixir. Yeah, don't want to talk about that too much. Okay, so we got the transmission, a little bit of toolage. Here's the deal, guys. One of our new projects, this Lindbergh 1944, it's going to be part of our parts box build. Uh, this is the uh, 2021 first inaugural Model Mine 72 parts box build. Get in on it, guys. Grab your parts out of your box and throw some videos up. Let the community see what's going on. But here's what's going on with me. Look at my, look at this, look at this trailer. This trailer, we, we broke an axle driving down to go get this uh, this forward body so this video is going to be telling you about what we got to do to fix the situation all right this part this um, brand right here this KS K, K and S engineering made in USA go buy this stuff it's great this is brass rod number 5161 we'll take a piece of that all right first of all let's show you what happened so what happened was this right here was our original axle and it broke as you can see our wheels are all in shambles our axles broke i believe i was going too fast heading down to grab that uh ford shell and i hit a bump and you know just messed it all up but here's the deal we're going to take some of this k and s engineering uh 5161 brass rod which is actually 364 this is what it looks like right here we're going to take some of that and we're going to we're going to rebuild it we're going to get our trailer back up and running we're going to get this forward to the shop we're going to get the building so we take our pin vise here basically we're going to do some we're going to drill some holes in the back of the rims here glue everything back together Gonna throw a brass rod, uh, three six, uh, three sixty fourth brass rod back in there, and we're gonna slam it back into the uh, trailer there. We're gonna throw our forward body on it, and we're gonna be hauling back to the shop. All right, guys, this is what's going on in this particular deal. Like I say, jump in on this uh, parts box build, guys. Come on, we're you know part of the community. You know, this is this is a great creativity type of thing. I, I really think that this is uh, something that can op expand your mind and, uh, you know, help add more content to the community. All right, give us some eye candy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here is the layout of how we're going to go about fixing our trailer. This trailer is actually a vintage trailer that came with the Datsun 620. Uh, series and uh, it's actually a vintage piece and very vile very valuable um, I do not want to um, not save it in any way shape or form you know um, we've never had any um, transporters here at the Wicked Words of Garage ever since we've been on YouTube um, we've had, you know, parts runners, we've had shop trucks, you know, to go get little small parts, but we've never had anything to go grab like, you know, whole cars, or bodies, or bigger pieces, you know. So this right here is kind of leaning towards that, and um, we're going to actually have to start looking into what kind of transporters does the Wicked Wizard Garage need to bring the projects to the shop, you know. So this is kind of uh, one of our... Uh, we're gonna save the styrene, right? This vintage, this vintage trailer, which is absolutely awesome, just awesome. But you know, there again, a little too harsh on the drive down to pick up the Lindbergh 44 body, and we busted our axle. 
is right here. Now, one of these sides was always a little weak, and I knew this was going to happen just because of the age of the trailer and everything. And I was like, you know, when it happens, I'll address it. And it's happened, so we're addressing it. So this is basically what we're gonna we're gonna do. We're going to take these are two piece wheels that shows you how vintage they are. This one actually busted apart when I was busting out this axle. I mean this rim. These are the standard wagon rims, which back when I worked at the boat marina, uh, we used to sell these all the time. You know. To guys pulling their you know boats on their boat trailers and stuff so I'm very familiar with these type of um, wagon wheels love them classic just absolutely awesome so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this rim we're gonna we're gonna punch we're gonna make a center hole we're gonna punch a hole we're gonna take our pin vines and we're gonna start drilling a hole into the uh, rim right we're gonna get the right depth and everything and then once we get that established then we're going to take um, our K and S engineered engineering made in the USA 364 5161 brass rod and we're going to actually cut an axle that's going to be the right correct length for this particular trailer and then um, we're going to have a brand new axle that rolls and we're going to get on down we're going to be like Willie Nelson says on the road again all right so let's get to this yeah, so I don't know how many of y'all are having this problem, but ever since this uh, pandemic uh, came about, I've been having a lot of glue problems. And um, so here's what I'm wanting to tell you. This one right here, this uh, crazy glue, all purpose. I've been using this for years, and it's kind of one of my go-to ones. Um, but look at this right here I want you to see this if you this was a brand new bottle you see how that right there it looks like spaghetti like string spaghetti it, that's a brand new bottle it only goes string spaghetti when it gets old you know after it's been exposed to oxygen for a certain amount of time this glue right here to me is almost like trying to glue parts together with water it's absolutely insane I don't know what the quality of glue you guys are getting when you're out there buying them but this was brand new and it it was like it just it won't hold this one right here is super glue so they say I got this um, I believe it was a dollar store for like a buck and it's actually been holding this is what I've been using to you know put some parts together when I was at the um, the Hobby Lobby, which is so sad, they don't have the 40% uh, coupons off anymore. I don't think it's coming back, fellas. The, you know, this is post. This is post pandemic world. Who knows? But this right here is uh, Mr. Cement Deluxe. It was the only one there. It was the last one. I've never tried it before. So I am going to try it out. I hope that this might be my new saving grace. I hope these guys get back in business and, and you know, people go back to work and start making my crazy glue. I don't know what happened to those folks. They went home. I don't know. And then this right here is just like a generic. I don't know if this is the same stuff as that, but it's a buck. It's a lot cheaper and it's actually working right now, but I don't know for how long. Anyway. Let's get back on to our, uh, put in the comment section if you guys are having any glue problems. I don't know, man. I'm just saying, I don't think they're making the stuff as strong as they used to. Maybe it's me. But anyway, uh, we're going to glue these this one wheel back together. 
and we're going to um, start assembling, reassembling uh, this vintage uh, trailer. This vintage uh, Datsun 620 trailer. I believe they had two motorcycles on the back there. I don't have those. But um, I've had this stuck in my 620 vault for a long time. And I just want to bring it back out. Because like I said, we got to get some transporters. It actually goes great for this particular 40 Ford body, man. I mean, it spits on there perfect. So if I can get some, uh, some axillage and some uh, wheelage. I'm going to be doing some transportation itch. All right. All right. So here we are. We got our um, one wheel that popped apart. We got it re glued. And we're fixing to. Um, I don't like these seams right here since there's two halves. So I'm going to do a little sanding just to give it a little bit of road wear. And um, on both of them, then I'm going to re glue. The wagon rim back in and uh, try to uh, make the axle there you go all right so here we go in our final phase of our uh, repair of our um, vintage trailer got our brass rod axle cut out of our K&S engineering brass rod and um, we cut it a little long, but we might leave it long. Always cut long. We'll never cut short. Yeah, Model my 72 tip. Model my 72. This is our finished product. We got our trailer back up and running. We got our axle fixed. Our busted axle. And uh, we are fixing to head back to the Wicker Wizard Garage and get started. On this uh, parts box build, Model Mine 72 2021, first inaugural parts box build. I hope anyone and everyone can join in. Come on, y'all, show some love. All right, here we go. We got our trailer fixed. We got our body. We're fixing to head back to the shop. And, uh, you know, help add more content to the community. All right, give us some eye candy. Modern Mind 72 saying peace, love, and happiness to all. Rock on, build strong, over and out.